Hey, this is Jonna. Hello, hello. It's Jonna's video blog again. It's been a while since I've talked to you. The date today is 27th. Today is April 27th. And I've been busy. So it's nice to come every once in a while. It seems like every month, maybe six weeks that I come and I do a little blog. Just let everybody know I'm okay and see how I'm doing. So this is kind of a lazy day. I haven't, I just got back from the gym and took a shower and no makeup, no nothing. This is just around the house. It's 93 here today in Phoenix. So um, it's, I mean, that's springtime for us. I know that's, that's hot for other places, but it's springtime for us. Anyways, um, I am fresh back from Cleveland, um, where I think I've probably told a number of people I competed in the U.S. National Open Wrestling Championships. And uh, I'm healing. My shoulder's sore, my neck is sore, my, uh, I think it's in the joint. It hurts getting thrown around. As you get older, it's tough. Healing is tough. But I don't, I'm like ever ready, ever ready bunny. Or a weeble. We wobble, but we don't fall down. So, anyways, um, but I have boo boos. I mean, where do I have boo boo? There's a boo boo. You see boo boo? Um, I got boo boo on my eye. I got a cut on my lip. I got bruises on my arms. There's one. But, um, you know, these things heal. And I'm very pleased with the way things went. Um, I went with specific, very realistic goals, um, and so I achieved my goals, and so I'm, I came in sixth place. Um, 2010 U.S. Open Women's Freestyle National Championships, 72 kilograms, sixth place. So. I am happy. I won a match. I was excited. I had friends there. It was, it was very cool. So all in, all in all, it was a very positive experience. It's funny to do this stuff at this stage of life. Wrestling for me was a... It served a number of purposes when I was young. When I was in my 20, 30 years ago. I mean, I wrestled last before most of the people who were participating in this event were born um, and I was the oldest person there and, and um, that's a little odd you know I mean that besides all the other stuff the, the trans thing came up I figured it would but um, it was a non-event and my congratulations to to the whoever made it a non-event um, because it shouldn't have been an event there's there's no reason for it to have come into the picture but unfortunately when you have this mixture of trans and sports, there's conflict. Uh, golf, golf. This is wrestling. I mean, golf, they complain, they argue, much less you know, sports where um, there's, there's contact and, and physical competition. So anyways, um, I'm glad that things went the way they did. And um, whether I'll do it anymore, I don't know. Um, as, a, as a teenager, it was a mask, you know, I, I had the body, I had the wrestling, I had the, I had the personality that go with it, so it was easy to hide, you know, behind the, the wrestler, and um, I, I was very much a, um, a perfectionist, so I worked very hard at that stage of life to, to do it well. At this stage of life, it's it's much more difficult. The speed isn't there, the endurance, the strength. And even though I am strong, I mean, for, for my size, but it, you know, it's, it's just the way it goes. But I'm, as I said, very pleased. So next, it's figuring out what I want to do when I grow up. Um, I quit my job. I mean, last time I did a video, we were talking about my job. Now I quit my job, or I left my job. They didn't want me to go on some of the stuff. They didn't want me to go to the White House for the Easter egg roll, which I did. Um, they didn't want me to take time off to do this, which I did. 
So you know, there are some things that are non-negotiable. So if you're going to interview me for a job, there's a balance thing going on here. That I have to be able to do some of this stuff. I do. I just do. And so that's this conundrum that I've got to deal with in, in life in general. But it's a big deal for me you know, at this stage of life, especially having had the melanoma last year and just, just this stage of life, you know, the practical needs of paying bills and insurance and blah, blah, blah. And, um, and then the, the deeper soul needs of having opportunities to do lifetime things and, and feed deeper needs. I mean, that's this yin and yang in me that's as profound as any other yin and yang, you know, going on right now. So, but that's just what I'm dealing with. I would much rather be in South Carolina right now. I would. Um, I was there quite a bit last year at this time, but that's not in the cards right now. Not yet, anyways. It's got other obligations. So, I'll be gone this coming weekend. I'll be gone. I'll be in the Bay Area. And next weekend, I'm speaking in Norwalk, Connecticut. So, hopefully, I'm healing and feeling good and back into the groove by then. So, I watched Dancing with the Stars last night. Do you ever see that? That's crazy. These people dance, they have these great moves, they just natural rhythm and look sexy and feminine. Where does that come from? I don't, I couldn't get that in a million years, not a, a billion years. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take dance lessons just to see. That's what I'm gonna do. And so I think that's what the doctor ordered. I took hip hop lessons when I was in Austin at the very beginning of my transition. Well, it wasn't at the beginning of my transition. I'd already had surgery and moved away, but still in life, you know, we think that transition is like this and then you have surgery and then you're done. And that's a huge fallacy for many of us. And it's kind of a, a rude awakening to recognize it. You know, after you've had these physical goals for your life and you satisfy them and you're moving on and you think, wow, now it's clear sailing. It's not so much. There's all kinds of life things to reconcile, to figure out, to from intimacy to relationships to reconciling your past with your present. There's a lot to it. There is a lot to it. This is, a, this takes a lot. So, um, anyways, that was several years ago, trying to do hip hop, but again, Donna kind of clumsy. Donna actually better in wrestling shoes than dancing shoes. So that's the way it goes. So I'm nearing my 10 minute mark. They don't like you to go over 10 minutes and that's probably boring because this really isn't all that much, but just wanted to bring people up to speed on how I'm doing and what's going on and Donna's doing okay. Donna's Donna spent the last couple of days resting and healing. I'm still on East Coast time, up at 5 a.m., which is not good. Donna does not like to be up at 5 a.m., but it makes for long days because I don't go to bed early either. But that's just the way my days go. So thanks for watching, indulging, following, supporting. Um, thanks for being interested. Thanks for just being a friend. I've, uh, I've really learned to appreciate friends um, in the last couple of years. So um, thank you is, seems like not enough, but well, that's, that's what I've got. So Donna Rose, video blog, end of April, signing off.